Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to another Genshin Impact video. So what I got for you today is the fourth challenge of the Phantom Flow event. We're going to be looking at the Mr. Connected challenge here. Going to be going over my team composition, the affix during the challenge, doing the extreme difficulty as well as the challenger difficulty and give an overview of how difficult it was. So let's get into Mr. Connected. So jumping into team composition, as you've seen in the other videos that I've done on the Phantom Flow, I'm going to be using that same composition for most of these. It's the Yenfei, Zhongli, Bennett, Sayu combo. Yenfei is there for a 4-star DPS, so I don't use a 5-star, so it's, uh, you know, achievable by a lot more players. Zhongli is there just because I have him and he's a good shield character. Bennett's there for a bit of healing and damage support. And Sai is also there for a bit of extra healing and extra damage at the same time. I'm using this composition mainly because it's a bit more free to play player friendly. Mainly the Yen, Fei, Bennett and Sayu. The Zhongli obviously is a bit more on the uh, pay, to, pay to win kind of esque style. But the three characters that I'm mainly using are Yen, Fei, Bennett and Sayu. So jumping into the event screen here, we got a big old wall of text. And to summarize it really quickly, whenever you're carrying an Electro Granum or affected by Electro, you'll connect to one or to two or three of the Nimbus gems in the center of the arena. When you're connected to three of them, you will lose 5% HP every three seconds but restore 5% when you defeat an opponent and additionally being connected to each gem offers a different buff so when you're connected to only one you get 50% energy recharge when you're connected to two you gain 1000 attack and when you're connected to three all forms of damage that you do unleash a shockwave attack this can happen once every two seconds the enemies for the extreme difficulty are pretty simple just some slimes and hilly chills so nothing really to worry about and the completion criteria for the extreme isn't too difficult either. Only 25 opponents within 180 seconds. A time between kills cannot exceed 30 seconds. And no character deaths at all during this challenge. Pretty simple. So let's get into it. And that was the extreme difficulty. So you probably would have noticed in there that I was connected to the Nimbuses pretty much the whole time, but I wasn't dying. It's because in this one, it's super simple. You're not losing much HP and you're killing more than you're taking damage. So super simple. Now we're going to jump into the Okuden difficulty or the Challenger difficulty of this event. And in this one, it's going to be a bit harder. It's going to be obviously a bit harder. We got a bit more text here. So we lose 8% HP every 3 seconds instead of 5, and we only gain 4 when we kill an enemy. So that's going to be a bit more uh, taxing on the HP. And additionally, a Thunder Sign will appear at a character's current position once they have defeated an opponent. After a short delay, the Thunder Sign will erupt dealing electro damage to characters within its AoE. So it's going to be just an AoE on the ground. The enemies change a bit, so it's Nobushi and Treasure Hunters now, so obviously a bit more difficult. But the completion criteria still stays pretty uh, pretty consistent. Defeat 30 enemies in 150 seconds, 25 between kills, and no character deaths. So let's jump into the Okuden difficulty. And as we start this run, I'll just quickly say that I don't actually complete this run. So uh, if you're looking just to see the completion of the Okuden difficulty, I go to the time on the screen right now. That will take you to the completed run where I switch over to a few of my 5-star characters, my Zhao and Ayaka mainly, to get that damage in because my Yenfei... Uh, Somehow, apparently, doesn't actually have enough damage, even though I'm seeing some 18k crits. But if you want to see the completed run, switch over to that. Uh, you'll see the whole run of Zhao and Ayaka devastating them. That gets done. In this one, though, if you want to see a team of four stars, pretty mediocre to average, above average four star characters, and Zhongli uh, attempt it, you can see that uh, and see how it's done. This The reason we do fail on this one isn't because of anything actually like really important. I just didn't kill the enemies fast enough, so I ran out of like whole time. I ran out of that whole 100. 50 seconds I ran out of but yeah go to that time on the screen if you want to see the completed keep watching this one if you want to see some four stars fail
Alright, second attempt, Xiao main DPS, Aika support DPS, Zhongli support DPS defense, god defender guy, and Sayu as a healer here. This is the run that I actually do complete it, so uh, enjoy. And that's the Okuden challenge there guys, that one was a bit more easier, and there you have it guys, that's the Okuden challenge, that was a bit easier getting the 5 stars in there, but still not the easiest thing I've ever done. Overall I'd give this like a challenge, the Mr. Connected challenge as they call it, I'd give this one like, you know, it's, it's pretty easy for the first extreme challenge there, Okuden can jump up, but still, it's one of the few Okuden challenges that I've actually completed, I haven't, I've only completed two of the four currently available. And this is one of them, so it obviously is one of the easier ones out there. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, hit that like button. And if you enjoy this guide type content, hit that subscribe button. Have an amazing day, everyone, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out.